when we come to school and we leave our home many things happen in the playground in the class yes you feel happy sometimes angry sometimes sad sometimes lonely sometimes you feel like crying sometimes people your friends can hurt you or you are not happy with many things so now we are going to do feeling we experience different feeling at school at play so we'll do the feeling in a diagram form you identify the what kind of feeling that is okay so we experience different feeling we we experience we experience different feelings different feelings according to the situations the persons according to the friend we do feel what are the things you feel you feel happy yes you feel sad feel angry you feel upset and you also feel like crying i will do some figures for you you identify what is that feeling we are i'm trying to show it to you now here now what does this person say to you okay okay now i have five faces here tell me now what is this first one picture says happy feeling yes a very happy feeling okay this person this child is very happy you feel happiness you feel happy when someone praises you teacher says you are very good oh you can do nice writing you got all the spellings correct okay here very angry maybe this child got a zero in something or somebody hurt so very angry you are get angry with someone or someone called you some bad names and here here is someone who is frightened fear you are so frightened now oh when i go home mummy will scold me fear then what else this one is very sad this person is very sad and finally here is a child who is crying so all these are your feeling feel like crying you feel sad you were fearful about something or someone you were angry with your friend who did not share some toy with you you are so happy sometimes because maybe your friends played with you maybe you got something what you wanted angry maybe someone did not join you in the game maybe someone scolded you or showed you something frightful you got scared or someone said i'll tell your mother get you good scolding and he is very sad maybe he lost something or somebody no one took him for a game and finally you have someone crying here maybe he lost something maybe if somebody took away something that belonged to him so you feel all these feeling different times to so experience happiness anger fear sadness crying and some more what else you feel feeling you express on the face when i look at your face and oh it's a happy child when i look at this one i will say oh so sad she's troubled 
your face will tell you what do you feel what others made you feel or what you feel within you so now when i give you pictures like this or when i give you words like this you should be able to draw the face that shows action okay you and i we do a lot of writing with our hands we do work with both our hands and we see the fingers are all different some are small some are fat some are long and remember each finger has a name and that's what we are going to learn now each finger has a name what's that name we are going to learn each finger has a name or okay each finger each finger has a name do you have a name yes just like you have a name your finger also each of them although we say fingers toes only toes you'll say it's a big toe little toe but finger each has a different name okay now let me draw my hand okay here now each of this each of this has a name all right now what is the name that's what we are going to see the name of each of this the first one here you have a tall one and we call that middle finger what is that called middle finger we call this a middle finger and this one we call it a index finger middle finger index finger and this is a thumb and this is a little finger and the ring finger okay now okay the first we have the thumb okay and right to the black this is the thumb then we have the index finger pointing this that come index finger and because this is tall and in the middle you call it the middle finger middle finger then we have the little finger let's call the little finger and then we have a ring you wear the ring so it's called the ring finger ring finger you must be knowing the rhyme for this one each one has a name okay if you fold your thumb in you have four people standing here and we normally say the one that is folded inside is the baby and we call the tall one the the middle finger as the father and the index finger as the mother and the thumb as the small sister and the ring finger as the brother and the, you know about i just quickly say it here is the father so kind and dear here is the mother so full of cheer here is the brother so straight and tall here is the sister 
who plays with her doll. Here is the baby loved by them all. See this family, both big and small, and God loves them all. You know this rhyme already. Take it once again. As I told you, you fold your thumb here, yeah, and that is the baby, small sister, big brother, father, mother, my family. Okay, remember, here is the father, so kind and dear. This is index finger. Here is the mother, so full of cheer. Here is the brother, so straight and tall. Here is the sister who plays with her doll. See this family, both big and small, and God loves them all. Okay, so I learned to name each finger. We did a lot of poems and rhymes and action songs on the parts of the body. Okay, we have one organ, we have toes, we have ten fingers, toes, all sorts. We learn to name each finger. Now we come to the senses. Sense. We have five main senses. What are they? Sense of hearing. Mommy calls you. Yes, Mama, I'm here. Sense of hearing. So we have come to that. Hearing. Then we have a pair of eyes. Sense of seeing something. You can see, hearing, seeing. You have a nose. You can smell. You can smell. Smelling a flower or smelling something delicious. Hearing, seeing, smelling. Now, after that, you taste. Tasting something. Hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting. And finally, you can touch. Touching. So, through all this sense of hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, touching, you know the world. Supposing you close your eyes and mommy brings nice delicious cake for you. You are smelling. You close your eyes, mommy says, and she brings a bit of delicious cake and put it on your tongue. You're tasting and said, wow, that's good. Then mommy brings some rough surface, a piece of bark, a wood, and you touch it and you say, oh, it's so rough. You are touching something. Oh, you touch a doll, so smooth. Touching, you see the world. Then someone rings the bell or taps the table. You are hearing, your sense of hearing. Then you see lovely pictures, lovely things, seeing. So through hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting and touching, we are experiencing the world. Okay, now you hear the crow cawing. You are listening, you, your hearing sense, you are developing. You look at beautiful pictures and you say, wow, what a nice picture, what a lovely dish mommy made. You are seeing something beautiful and you are experiencing sense of seeing, smelling. Mommy make delicious thing in the kitchen. But you, without seeing, you smell and you say, Wow, that, definitely, I love that taste, that smell. You taste something lovely, something hot or something sweet and you enjoy that. 
touching so through these five senses you are learning the world you are learning the world when you hear the school bell ring you are hearing you hear the clock tick tock tick tock you hear the clock and you see the time sometimes in your house the tap the water keep dropping plop plop and you need to tighten the tap you are again listening to a sound you are sitting in your house and you can hear an ambulance pass by or a car pass by the loud horn so through all this you are knowing the sound without seeing taste without looking mommy gives you nice lemon juice you say taste and tell me what is it and you'll quickly say it smells lemon mm it tastes lemon so we we'll hear see smell taste and touch and that's we learn a lot of things around us the sense of smell the sense of touch the sense of hearing seeing tasting very important for all of us to enjoy seeing hearing tasting